Do you believe the balance sheets of big Wall Street firms, if you read them now? These numbers are so big and the financial instruments are so complex that, you know, I, nobody stands a chance, really, of understanding. I'd have more fun investing in crap tables in Las Vegas than uh, Wall Street firms. We have no idea who our overlords are. We have no idea who it is that we're serving. I have no idea that when I look at the world debt clock, who the hell are we worried about not freaking paying? Because if the US military is the largest military might on the planet, right, and the US military is in X, Y, Z amount of debt, who's beefing you, bro? Who are you scared of paying? The difference between anonymity and privacy is anonymity is all about secrecy. No one, there is no external observation. Anonymity is a direct issue with what is fueling how the world is run today. When you have your centralized bank and the shareholders of the centralized banks not actually really being known, banks are facilitators of the flow of currency. The whole monetary system is actually based on, on water, it's based on liquidity. You have currency, current and river has current and either side of a river, you have the river bank controlling the flow uh, of, of currency. These guys and gals control the flow as to what lubricates trade and time, labor market skill on this planet. So we have all of this clouded, almost mysticism around our monetary system because core fundamentally, because it's built on complete secrecy, you have to create this noise and this distortion that keeps the, the population trapped into that noise and not asking the simple questions which are, what the hell is really actually going on? Because if we had sight, if we had transparency, I wouldn't need to ask the question. Because the simple explanations are, if you have transparency, all of that stuff falls away. The noise falls away, the confusion falls away, because that's all it is, is a freaking facade. Privacy, on the other hand, is a sovereign requirement of being human. So an example of privacy in a monetary system would be, we are building a business in Bitcoin and we want to have transparency in terms of solvency. You want to know that the money is that you hold at our institution is there and it's whole, as so would everybody. So that's a good thing because right now, if we go to Barclays Bank and I say, can I have 10,000 pounds out of my own bloody account? Direct answer is simply no. I have to give 24 hours notice. And the reason being is, is because their liquidity levels are only known by them. And they're shuffling things around all the time based on the input of requirements of how many people are coming to withdraw funds, okay? So that's the benefit of having a secrecy-based service because the only time that you get answers to why they were shuffling things around were on a quarterly basis based upon audits. But then if the auditors are in bed with the bankers, then is that even transparent? Can I even trust that? Did these quarterly reports represent to investors a fair, accurate picture of the company's financial condition? In our opinion, they did not. I mean, isn't that against the law? It certainly, in our opinion, was against uh, civil law, if you will. There were colorable claims that this was a fraud, yes. But I appreciate that as a corporation, as a business, I have trade secrets. I have competitors. I don't want competitors to be exposed to my trade secrets. So to conduct business in a private way and maintaining your right, your sovereignty is incredibly positive. It's, it's, it's a requirement. IP, patents, a land, all of these things require privacy. And the only way that that privacy is unwound is if you go back to law, order, society. If I break the law, then law through court adjudication process unwinds the privacy aspect. But there's a process. If we don't do anything to trigger that process, there is no unwinding, privacy maintains forever. And the way to make that process very efficient is you have the law system communicating directly on this system being Bitcoin. And that way the law cannot be manipulated to unlock boxes, because that's a concern as well. And that's something that we have to address with the nascent encumbrances in the legal system, which I feel very passionate about right now, considering everything that's going on, and have that communicating directly on top of the transparent system and the beacon of light that is ultimately Bitcoin.